Good morning, long time no see, it is Saturday today. I have not vlogged in such a long time. I feel like I've been really busy and not in the mood, which I know is what I always say. But um, today is a glorious cold day, my favorite weather sunshine and cold and Elliot and I are heading up to London so I thought um, that I would get back into the vlogging world today uh, and kick it off with with that I've had quite it's, it's like almost mid I think it's midday now but um, I've had a productive day so far I got up quite early um, put the washing machine on put the dishwasher on I headed over to mum's because mum and Craig are in Mexico at the moment so I've been feeding Sully every morning and night since the last time I vlogged I went to Los Angeles which was literally incredible I didn't vlog when we were there because we were just so busy and it was very much like a family related trip and um, I kind of wanted to just like live in the moment um, which I very much did and it was amazing and also the other thing I wanted to mention is that I have not used TikTok in 2022. It was my New Year's resolution to really cut down on social media because I realised I was spending like hours scrolling on Instagram and TikTok. Um, so I put this like focus mode thing on my phone. So now I use Instagram for like five or ten minutes a day and I haven't even opened the TikTok app which is amazing. I feel like I got my life back so I'd thoroughly recommend that if you struggle with like the endless scrolling side of things. Um, that is the way forward. I've also been working on my masters, I've submitted a presentation this week, so I've got one last essay to write. I'm doing this, but it's more like this, 12,000 word essay. Um, I'm doing it all about something called metacognition, which is learning how to learn. Uh, so it's been quite hard work and there's like all these deadlines, which has been really like taking over my free time. Uh, but I'm pretty on top of it, so that's going well. So today, Elliot and I went to go for a swim this morning, uh, but the pool was closed, so we just went for a nice walk around the park instead, so we got our daily exercise in. Uh, we've just had both had breakfast, I showered and washed my hair, I'm about to start getting ready, and then we're heading into London. So my Christmas present from Elliot was tickets to a new show called Hex, which is like a musical based on Sleeping Beauty, but I think it's like quite a dark interpretation of it, um, and that's on at the National Theatre. So we're heading into London, we're gonna go for like a nice tapas lunch in somewhere called Jose, near Borough Market I think, and then head to the show afterwards. Um, so I'm looking forward to like wrapping up warm and just strolling uh, along South Bank, which is my favorite thing to do in London. Woo, I got hot talking. That's it. Let's have an amazing day. We are ready to go. I really wanted to wear these jeans today that are new. Mum bought them in Brighton thinking she was having a, apparently they not dry in time? a Harriet moment. No. Um, and then she decided they were too crazy for her and she gave them to me and I'm literally obsessed with them. Um, but I just washed them this morning, I was hoping they were going to dry in time, but they haven't, so I've opted for a pink jean instead today. But we'll wear you another time out to London.
I've made the decision that we are going to keep our dinner recipe. Uh, dinner recipe? recipe? Our dinner reservation because of my indecisive nature. If we decide to eat here in Barra Market, I will never be able to decide what I want to eat. Oh my god! Look at the little one. <laughs> he looks so scared. He's, scared. he's shaking like a leaf. <laughs> oh, he's shaking. <laughs> no wonder. Imagine being someone next to you that's like five times your size. <laughs> You'd be there like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're strolling to the restaurant. This is Vinegar Yard. Similar vibes, independent food and uh, drinks. <gasps> I get this incredible pink and orange. Love that. That's my favourite colour combination. Did you know? I did know. Did yes, know? I did. Know. Yes. Oh, it's got a bit yellow in there. Isn't it? We just bought some beautiful oh, glasses for our house. They've got skulls on them. I'll show you this later. Is a crazy nice little supermarket. Very bougie. Oh, very cool. Giddy grocer. How nice. Very nice. Did you just kick our new glasses? Oh, no, I did. Yeah. This is we're having dinner. Oh, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna fill up quickly. So this restaurant's a bit fancy, I don't think I'm gonna vlog because we're on the chef's table. Well, what would you call this? The kitchen bar. The kitchen sign. And I don't want to get into trouble. I'll give you a glimpse. <laughs> Um, so we just finished dinner. The, the restaurant was called Jose Bizarro. Jose Bizarro. I didn't vlog in there because it was so like, it was way fancier than I thought it was going to be. It and was we fancy. were like right on the chef's like bar. And so I didn't really want to like be talking about the food <laughs> in front of them. Although that. it was unreal. Like we had like tapasy dishes and I honestly could not pick the best dish. I kind of, I feel like I forced you into it, but we saw him making this particular pudding and I was like, Elle, oh. you've got to have that. I can't have it because it's milky. So good. But it was chocolate ice cream with a sourdough toast, olive oil caviar, and sea salt. And Elliot, that was your favorite dish. It was crazy. And you wouldn't really usually get a dessert in a restaurant. I'm going to get say. olive oil caviar at home. <laughs> yeah. We'll get some for anyone wants to come around for a dinner party. We will be serving extra virgin oil caviar. Um, but yeah, delicious. Thanks very much for taking me there. No worries. And we're now going to stroll along the South Bank to the National Theatre, where we're going to go see the show Hex. And we're in agreement that we are the perfect amount of full. We did well not to overeat, but also we've had the perfect amount. That was lovely. Great success. That was lovely. <laughs> Aww. Of all the time we spend in London, I think walking the South Bank is my favourite use of time. We do it a lot, don't we? Yeah, we do. This walk in particular. Yeah. In fact, fun fact, my mum is getting married this summer and the Swan pub here on the South Bank is where she's having her reception. And she's getting married at um, Marleybone Town Hall, which is over the river, I think. Not St Paul's, but yeah. No, not, <laughs> not St Paul's. Did you get married there? <laughs> no. But this is where the reception, in fact, I think it's that top room there, that function room. And I cannot wait. This is the National Theatre on the South Bank. I feel like I'm being a tourist vlogger. You are. For those that don't know London, this is the National Theatre. Look Theater. how quick that text is moving. Oh my god, it's so amazing. Oh, I like the lights. You got your mask? Yeah. We just found our seats and we're in the fourth row from the front. Normally we're in the nosebleed section at the top. Yeah, normally we're standing at the back. <laughs> we'll see you after the show. We've just come out. Elliot is just working out train times, whether we need to get the tube to London Bridge or whether we can walk. What do you want? Do you want to get, would you prefer to get a bit of food, chill, and then get a train? I'd rather or do you want to just go home now? I'd rather walk. Anyway, the show was very, very, very good. We had no idea what to expect, and it absolutely was not what either of us thought it was going to be. It was really funny. So At one point, I laughed walked, so hard I cried. Harry, if we walk, yeah. sorry, do what I can say. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Really good. I the, actually our seats were unreal, and we were pleased that we weren't any further forward because those people got covered in smoke for like a good proportion Pro of the show. Pro comment, I actually think it's the best show I've seen. Really? I really enjoyed it. The I was in stitches. I know. The it problem so is, good. with a musical, I really like to know the lyrics and this, they haven't released any songs from the Hex. So, I, I, although I tried to research, I couldn't find anything out in advance, so it was like completely new. Whereas if I was going to see like School of Rock or whatever, I would you learn all the it. songs before yeah. because I'm a loser. Anyway, that was really good. Come on again. Thanks for my Christmas present. You're very welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We are back in the homestead of Horsham. Very grateful to live near the station. Oh, absolutely dreamy. Anyway, we've had a great day, haven't we? Have you got yeah. a highlight? 
Um, I was trying to pick whether I preferred the food or the show, and actually both were so good. Mm. But I think I just wasn't expecting the show to be as funny yeah. as it was. And actually, it took me by surprise how much I enjoyed it. Yeah, so that's it. Very good. Thank you very much, Mr. Hardy. Very welcome. And thanks for watching this vlog, and I'll see you again who knows when, let's be honest. Thanks for watching, and good night.